Welcome to HeroQuest fans. It is Saturday and we are live on twitch.tv slash HeroQuest fans. We are not live on YouTube, but if you're catching us on the replay, thanks for your support. We're playing Rise of the Dread Moon tonight. So call for heroes. I see Bohemius is here. Welcome. And I see some other folks. Welcome. Um, as usual, if you're watching us live on Twitch, you can join the Twitch chat and use your gold coins, your channel points, to interact with the quest live. If you want to control a hero, however, I would in invite you to join our Discord, HeroQuest Fans Discord. Hop into the voice channel known as Quest Talk, and uh, we play the game um, with using MentorBot to roll the dice. And we have our new cool uh, DD dice option, which rolls it over the board. So thanks to Ribby for rigging that up for us. All right. Well, Bohemius, I think you called the wizard. And I think we're going to need the wizard's talents tonight for sure. Yep. He's going to have to use his, all the alchemy that he knows to get through this quest. And um, as you may uh, have guessed, <laughs> maybe several weeks back, this is quest nine. So what we know about these is Quest 9 leads into Quest 10. So it's the, the old two-parter. Now, there was a great battle that was waged last time, which is not resolved yet. It is the hero's turn. So let me reveal the board. And do you need any reminders on what the wizard has? Uh, nope. Okay, great. Yeah, so I was checking, and I I, I had down, if I'm not wrong about this, that uh, he is at the alchemist bench, and he's generating these Lunarium uh, tokens out of the uh, these amulets, these Lunar Charms, and that he has three of them so far. Do you think he had more than three? It's like once per turn he's creating them. Uh, I didn't keep. I didn't keep the count. I thought uh, they we were going to well, use, we're gonna, use them the last time. We're going to have to start all over. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, if he can get at least, uh, let's see, three more. Let's see. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six living members. So we've got the barbarian, the dwarf, the monk, the wizard. And let's see, a striker and an arbalist. So, e yeah, each each uh, lunar charm needs to be converted into the lunarium so that they can pass through the mirror gates. Now, as you can see, the mirror gates have had some uh, bad guys come through the other side. And so there's quite a few of them left. <laughs> We've got some assassins, uh, elite ones, actually, and some mummies. Chaos Warrior, Famir, uh, Swordsman, uh, Elven Archer. Yeah. And then over here in the north, you've got these two mysterious uh, Famir guards who have just been kind of hanging out there. We're not quite sure why, but they are there. And then we have this unexplored area in the south. But thus far, the, your other efforts have turned up dead ends or rooms have been unexplored. So like this area here, this tomb area that was cleared out, this throne room. Okay, so if you're ready, it is the wizard's turn. But as far as the other heroes, um, do you mind taking control of more than one or should we wait a little bit? Um... I don't know. I'll, um, like I can take control of uh, everything for now. Okay. And uh, you other players, you have no one to blame but yourselves. If uh, <laughs> Bohemius gets you all killed, no, he won't. Um, I was wondering. He, he will do his best. If if Saturday is a problem, if Saturday is a problem for everybody to arrive at this time, maybe I don't know. Is a problem for you to move it like an hour? Hmm. I mean, uh, an hour later or an hour earlier? Later. Think? No, later. Because uh, uh, Ribby is coming late from work. Jacer to some. Hmm. I'm just, just wondering 
if uh, yeah. if for you is possible. For me, it's, uh, it's fine. I'm uh, I'm home all day, so I don't have oh, yeah. a, a problem. Well, I, I that's mm-hmm. a, that's a good thought. Um, I mean, we we're switching the rant cast to Tuesdays, so I mean, schedules don't have to stay yeah. the same forever. For me, I, I don't, that yeah, for me, I, I don't like to uh, stay up too late, so I definitely want to give everybody a long enough session to play. But you're right, if if people are all arriving an hour late, it's kind of like, well, <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll we'll think about it and talk about it. Yeah, I'm. I'm just pay I, I don't mm-hmm. <laughs> it doesn't matter I told you I have no problem any any time is fine yeah yeah well it's it's open any uh, any heroes who are hearing my voice are free to join don't worry if you're taking over someone else's character if they're not here the character is yours you know oh, oh no of course <laughs> if we get if we get more people uh, to join from uh, the chat is even better of course. oh yeah well, maybe people start to notice Just, us uh, uh, now that Gen Con so is over. <laughs> or yeah. more likely they will notice Ribby and uh, go to his channel and Ash and go to his channel. But, eh, you know, we, we may pick up a few new people as well. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I say we get started. Yep. All right. No problem. So he's got a he's got a magazine he's reading uh, Alchemy for Fun and Profit. Oh well, yes, <laughs> great article. <laughs> All right, let so, me uh, let do his work and uh, yes, create another lunarium. Okay, and he's got his bodyguard protecting him. Anything else you want to do while you're in that room? I think you've probably searched, uh, no searched already. To- do we have a uh, um, special search? Well, no. I think if you've used it or not. I think we use them all. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think we you have used them all. It's like Wardicon's like what what? <laughs> no, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, okay. That, see? Right on cue. Right on cue. Thank you, Ordecon. Oh, look at that. You've got a bonus treasure search. Well, my friend. <laughs> if you wish. Thank you, Ordecon. Uh, let's do it instantly. All right. Well, we won't count that one. Because it's going to be safe. So this is uh, the bonus treasure search. A sacred plant. Elven healers have been using this plant medicinally for centuries. So that could be crafted into Potion of Restoration or Holy Water. And it looks like you are right there, so it's up to you. Well, we do a, we do a Restoration. Restoration, okay. Very good. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so Potion of Restoration, so the wizard gets another... Another healing, which he may need. Let's see. So he's got superior restoration. Okay, so now he has two restorations. Alright, so we're passing the turn to the dwarf. So the dwarf is here. He has one of these elite chaos warriors in his sights. And he's got the Arbalist back here with one damage backing him up. Let me just check. Do you need any uh, uh, refresher on what the dwarf has? Well, uh, Jacer just logged in, so ah. let's ask him if you want to take control of it. It's like he's standing right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> like, where is Jay, sir? <laughs> right here. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey, Jay, sir. Hello. Are you ready to go, or are you still in transit? No, I'm uh, I'm ready to go. Uh, I think. Let's see, yes, I have. I have stats or character sheets for the monk, the dwarf. 
And I don't know if the other ones are updated, but I also have an elf and a barbarian and a wizard. That was great. Wardicon uh, cashed in a potion just as I was getting a sip of my beverage there. So cheers, Dead Gamer, and cheers, Wardicon. Thank you. Yeah, so if you guys want to divide up the heroes until such time as more heroes join, that sounds great. So we've got a potion of battle. That's the re-roll. So who, who should get that? Wardicon, or are you saying anybody can have it? Take the uh, control of the Barbarian. Because... Jeez, sir. Yeah. I, I agree with mm -hmm. that, the Barbarian. Okay. That way you can get the re-roll, and you got four dice most of the time. All right, okay, but yes. Oh, I mean, I, I take the control until uh, somebody... Somebody join. Okay, so the barbarian, but yes, let's take us to the uh, take the potion as well and the barbarian. The potion. Okay. Yes. So Jacer will take control of the dwarf and the monk. Uh yes. Yeah, that'd be the easiest. Okay. And so far we don't have an elf, but if somebody else joins and we've got enough people, we can easily do that. All right. Okay. Uh, um. Uh, I could. I uh, just need to know what would be. Needs to be updated for the elf. I have for the elf. I have a rap, uh, rapier, broadsword, longbow, longsword, warhammer, uh, shield, potion of healing plus four. I don't, but like I said, I don't know if any of this is up to date. No, wait, plus uh, three potions of healing plus fours. One d six. I think an airwalk. Potion of vision still. Heroic brew. And a mysterious flower, but like I said, I don't know when the last time this was updated was. Oh yeah, you're really, really close. So there, he actually has two mysterious flowers. He also okay. has one d well, he has one d six healing and two plus four healings. Okay, so there's only two of them. All right, no, no gold left. He does have two of the elven cloaks of passage that have not been used at all. And we left him with the Warhammer equipped. Nameless One was using him before. And I see Nameless is in the chat. I'm not sure if he's free to take a character or if he's busy or just watching. And uh, the elf has water spells. Yep. Um, water spells and... Because the wizard has any... fire, air, and earth. The wizard has used fire wrath, ball, fire flame, wrath, ball flame, rock skin, and heal body. Hey, Nameless. Hey, Nameless. Uh, do you want to take control of a hero tonight with us? Or are you just lurking? Are you there, Nameless? Might be having microphone issues. Well, anyway, um, yeah, we're here. We're uh, we'll just kind of play it by ear like we usually do. Hey, Jacer, quick question. Um, not saying you have to give me your whole schedule or anything, but uh, Bohemia's floated the idea of maybe us adjusting the time like an hour later. Would that work better for you on uh, Saturdays? Uh, yeah, uh, that would work for me. Okay. Eight o'clock's not bad. It's just I'm just usually getting home, so okay, not, not bad for a Saturday. Nine o'clock for me would be better. So yeah, an hour later. Yeah, I mean I hate to start that late because I do have to get up. Although on alternate weeks it's easier than than not. <laughs> so I don't know. Well, I'll think about well, it. Even, and, you, yeah. I would even I, I would keep your start time now, and if we get started later or if you have something else, it's usually. If we come in a little bit later, it's usually not so bad. Mm -hmm. Well, see, I, I don't mind people jumping in mid-game. I don't know about you guys. Like, Do you get frustrated if you have to like, start after everyone else has started? I personally don't, because I come in late a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, you're always welcome. Well, okay, well, I'll, I'll kind of keep those suggestions in mind. All right, so the dwarf...
Okay, so this is Jacer. And I have down that you have Berserker Fury. That's the only skill that I have on here. Okay, yep. Berserker Fury. Yeah, so right now, the part that you missed, uh, the wizard is uh, still generating these these Lunarium vials yes. at the Alchemist Bench. He's got four so far. There's six people that need him to travel through the Mirror Gates. And there's uh, all these bad guys that came through the mirror on the other side that uh, don't seem to uh, want you to progress any further. Uh, there's also these two Femir, just kind of in the darkness, guarding something. We don't know. And... Uh, then there's this southern yeah, they passage. Killed the scout. That, yeah, the southern passage that is uh, unknown. So, that's kind of where we left off. This is the Royal Palace Awaits, Rise of the Dread Moon. Quest 9. It's been a long one so far. All right, the floor is yours. Uh, was it me or is it the elf? Or they are. Uh, we don't have the elf we don't have yet so i just okay. put this little torch so to represent. Just the... if, if the elf jumps in he's going to be in the midst of the room <laughs> it's going to be oh yeah okay dicey for him all right um so the wizard's doing his thing how many did he create so far uh four okay hey thanks for oh we got a skill. all right i'll start swinging away all right, uh away i'll go long sword Okay, we got a roundhouse for somebody for two-handed sword or axe. Didn't Wardakan say it goes to the barbarian? And like then he stopped saying it because he never got the, the sword one. <laughs> or that was equipment. That was equipment. I don't know. He said for anyone. So who who wants the roundhouse? Sorry to interrupt you there, Jacer. Uh, I'd, I'd be good giving that to the barbarian as well. Ah... Uh... Okay, well, if there's no objections, Bohemius, you uh, got a new skill. It's like I have you down as with parry and repost, and now also roundhouse. Which reminds us a lot of the uh, Berserker ability. All right, um, I'm going to switch to the tower shield and the long sword, and I'm going to attack diagonally through the doorway. So you're going for the assassin instead of the chaos warrior? Yes. Okay. Yep. The assassin has taken some damage, so that might be a smart idea. Says mentor in your in your mind. <laughs> okay, one skull. All right, the assassin responds, and the assassin defends with three, if I remember correctly. And this is an elite monster. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Got her. Yeah, a little goblin ancestry, perhaps. Okay. All right, and uh, First I'll stay there. Part. And... um. Monk, do I have all my techniques unlocked? Uh, let's see. I think um, I think air. I mean, uh, Earth was used. What about the uh, Arbalist? I moved the Arbalist two spaces to the right. Okay. Post at that door. Okay. All right. So the monk. All right. I'm. All right, the monk's going to back up one space and go to the longbow. Okay. Okay. 
podcast where he's like, what? Three nice. skulls. Impressive. All right, he is in the lead as well, so he's going to roll his defense for blue. Ching, and one got through. All right, well, that's good. That gives the barbarian something to swing at. <laughs> ah, Glasgow. Glasgow Gargoyle. Welcome, sir. Oh, just watching tonight? Oh, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough. And sorry I haven't mailed out any swag yet. I just, I haven't had time. Uh, but a new week will be starting soon. So I'll try to mail out what I can, get everybody's addresses that I need. Start sending those out. International Post. Yeah, a few, a few other people have reported that their Prophecy of Telor, the orange dice, have cracked on them. And that's really sad because those are like official retail dice. Those are not giveaways. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe there's a problem with some of those batches of dice. So if you have cracked dice, I encourage you all to contact Hasbro Consumer Care. See if they'll I was going to say them. the same thing. Yeah, because there, there's just no excuse for that. I mean, unless you're playing craps with them like in the alley, you know, some unsanctioned uh, gambling. <laughs> just rolling them on a wooden table. I mean, that's what dice are supposed to... You know, be able to stand up to. And Hasbro's dice are pretty durable. I mean, generally. So there's no excuse for skimping on those. Gifted subscription. Oh, cool. And it went to Nameless. Nice. I like it. Very cool. Very cool. Appreciate it, guys. Okay. Um, all right. So, did the damage. Uh, we've been using them all good so far. Rolling into dice tray. Yeah. Well, see, that's how I roll my dice. I have a wooden cigar box that's lined with felt that I just roll the dice on. I mean, I don't really do anything special with them other than that. And I mean, we've been using MentorBot for several months, so I've been using those a lot. But I mean, I've I've never rolled my Prophecy of Teller dice or my Spirit Queen Stormment dice, but I have used the Frozen Horror. So just because they're translucent doesn't mean that they're like weak. I mean, I don't see air bubbles in them, but my Gen Con dice from last year are cracked. Not the not the Dread Veil dice, which I've maybe rolled those a couple of times. But yeah, dice shouldn't be doing that on you. Especially not from Hasbro. So, anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, after the monk, we've got the barbarian. So, Bohemius. Bohemius the Bohemoth. Mighty attack. Two skulls. Skulls. Uh, with the Bastard Sword. Alright. Okay. Alright, this is an elite chaos warrior, so he's defending. We only blocked one. One more damage. Alright, he's staggering, but he's still standing. Uh, chaos warriors. Men who have become monsters. Slaves to darkness. This dread warrior should never be underestimated. <laughs> and they often carry uh, cursed weapons, as <laughs> I've also heard. And they move uh, one step north. Okay. 
like uh, like a woodsman who's just chopped a tree down. He's like stepping back <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> Timber. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, and your mercenary's dead, so we move on to the evil wizard. Right. Uh, of course. Hmm. Okay, I have so many choices. Let's see what I got here. Let's look at my evil cards. Oh yeah, I do have a clear shot at the dwarf from here, with the archer. So I'm going to shoot at the dwarf. It's four dice. Three skulls, dwarf. Oh man, too bad that wasn't uh, an attack uh, attack roll. Wow. Okay, so three hits for the dwarf. Yeah, too bad I don't have more of those archers. Okay, so then I could send in. Hmm. Makes sense to have a Chaos Warrior, Chaos Warrior. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna have the Chaos Warrior attack the dwarf. And he's uh, an elite, so four black. Four skulls. Okay, blocked all but one. Down to two. And I'll do a stunner. Oh yeah, you got the wrestling move, yeah. And he bounces up and down like a tin can. Got him. So you got rid of him. Yep. First wrestling move of the day. Of the night. Okay, alright, so I was going to move him out of the way anyway. Got another Chaos Warrior. One, two, three, four. Let's move this Elite in there. Let's see, where's the monk at? Yeah, I could, yeah, just keep piling on the attacks. Okay, so I'm going to go for the, the Dwarf again. Three skulls. Ching ching ching. No damage and a wrestling move. All right. Uh, let's go choke slam. Combo breaker. All right. He jumps up, grabs him, slams him to the ground. <laughs> His throat. Okay. It's damaged. Okay, and I've got an assassin. I can move the assassin in. Yeah, so you're dangerous with all that extra defense. You get wrestling moves left and right. But I get a five dice, five black die attack on you here. Whoops. Ah, dang it. I mislabeled it. Okay. Here, let me roll that with black. Excuse me. Five black. That's more like it. Okay, three three skulls. Ding, 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 combo breaker. All right. What's All right. Uh, 
I'm gonna do a mandible claw right through the door. Uh, uh. <laughs> he used the toe of an old boot and then he put over his, his fist. <laughs> Got him. Alright, down goes the assassin. Okay, well, the crowd is thinning a little bit here. Still got monsters, though. Hmm. But I've run out of diagonal attack monsters, so... Oh, but I can still... You've given me some room. I have a kill box. One, two, three, four. Three, four. But the dwarf, at least, is safe. Is it monk or barbarian? Barbarian's pretty tough. And if I attack the monk, I'm basically encouraging you to get powered up for fire. That's the other thing. One, two, three, four. Okay, mummy can't reach. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that mummy can reach. I think we're going to have this elite mummy come in. One, two, three, four. To attack the barbarian. Alright, so the elite mummy attacks. With three black. Two skulls. Two hits. All right, he's down to six. Okay. One, two, three, four. Can't reach. One, two, three, four. Famir or Swordsman? Four. Let me double check. I always, because I always get these guys confused with the human swordsman. Different abilities. Okay, so the Elven Warriors attack with four, defend with three, three body, two mind. That's a pretty good attack. Alright, let's get the swordsman out there. One, two, three, four. To attack the monk. Only one skull. Too bad he wasn't a hero. No defense at the hit. Alright, then I'll use Twisting Current. Alright. Bends like a reed in the wind. No damage. Okay, let's see. I'm going to move my mummy closer. And let's see, I kind of like the way he's positioned. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave the other those other monsters as is in the room. To Famir, continue to just uh, stand watch in the shadows. All right, heroes. The wise wizard. Uh, let's keep crafting. All right, he crafts yet another. He's getting really good at it. He's he's starting to uh, kind of put his own little like spin on it. He's put a little filigree on the edge, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I could put a shop here. Yeah, yeah. He's got his own uh, special labels, you know, fancy cork yeah. in the bottle. <laughs> yeah. I just need I just need some customer. Yep, yep. Then, well, he's always got a second so, career. If these guys all get aced, he can always uh, maybe go into business for himself. Uh, pass. Okay. All right, the mighty dwarf. Uh, 
All right, I'm going to uh, attack the swordsman diagonally with the long sword. Okay. All right, one. It's a hit. All right. He's got two more body points left. Anything else for the dwarf? No, I don't think so. Um, or the arbalist, I suppose. Ah, combat dice color change. Thank you, Ordicon. Okay, the next dice that are rolled will be black. Uh, I would, let's see. Does a corridor around the big room go all the way around? Yes, it does. All right, uh, I'll take the, ar the arbalist to the left, that way the Tamir can't sneak in and get the wizard. How far do you want him to go? The full extent? The full six spaces, yeah. Okay, so he ends up there. Is that cool? Yep. Alright, and then uh, the monk um, I guess he'll take another step back and I'll shoot at the swordsman. So any white dice you'd be rolling are now black for this roll only. All right, so three black, one purple. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Powerful. All right. <laughs> yes, very good. Okay, and I only get three defense, so... Got him. That's crazy with the the black dice with the longbow. That's a lot of dice. Mm-hmm. Sure is. Yeah, that's the upgrade I had planned for the ranger that he would get uh, black dice. It's a pretty weak character, so it was like a nice upgrade for him. Of course, we've never we've never used him in our public games here. Okay. So it looks like you've got just one power to unlock before you get fire. I mean, one uh, air. If air is used, then you'll get fire. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, so monk is done. Now the barbarian. Champion of the North. Kill shot. Let's go. Right. Okay, against the mummy, the elite mummy. That's a hit. The ancient mummy clatters to the floor. I uh, did an interview with. Um, covert nerd while well, he interviewed me we talked about gen con and stuff and <laughs> he said uh he always likes to help the heroes and i was like no help for uncle dargon he's like no <laughs> i love it and they move one square north all right uh, your turn all right room is really clearing out Dwarf is still vulnerable. The barbarian is getting down. One, two, three, 
four, and not enough room. Here, staying clear of the mummy. Smart. But I've still got a clear shot at the dwarf, so I might as well take that shot. He's relying on his armor to protect him. Two skulls. Ching, and one hit. He's brave. Okay, he's down to one body point. Okay, now... Might as well get the Chaos Warrior to attack him here. Four black. Three skulls. Dwarf. Ching! He meets it. Locks All right. Uh, go Tombstone Pile Driver. Drop this guy right on his armored head. Clang. All right. And Wardicon with the bonus potion. Okay. So some more damage to the Chaos Warrior. We're just trying to hold out to keep the wizard uh, safe. Okay, Potion of Frost Skin. This goes to the Barbarian. He can roll two extra combat dice when defending, as long as he can see monsters. So that'll go to the Barbarian, Frost Skin. Thanks, Wardicon. Okay. All right, so he took no damage from that, but the Chaos Warrior took damage. He's pretty beat up. I'm gonna take him one, two, three into the corner. Six. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Get another bad guy card. I like it. Okay, let's see. We'll get this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to send the Femir, one, two, three, four, five, six, to attack the Barbarian. Two skulls. Two hits. Alright, I'm sending this Chaos Warrior. One, two, three, four, five, six. To attack the dwarf. Three skulls. If he gets another wrestling move. Oh, phew, he didn't. <laughs> And then two got through. He's down. Oh. Got uh, potion of healing, and I rolled a six. Does he have a d6 though? Yeah, he's got that's he's got a plus two, a plus four, and a d6. That's the three potions, right? What do I? What do I have a different healing? Hmm. He does. Wow. What's the third? What are the three healing potions I have then? Yeah, good question. Oh, okay. So he has a plus two. He has a mysterious flower. 
Let me double check that one. No, that's a mine point. Oh, what the heck? I may have made a mistake here. Its restoration was used. Yeah, I just have that he has the plus two. Well, he gave a healing potion to the arbalist. So that's a second. Well, yeah, but he also bought like three of them. I think he bought a, I bought a bunch of the plus twos and I gave one. I gave one away, I used one, and I have one left. But they're the only three healing potions I got. Mm. I had two D6s, but I used one, and I'm down to one. I have a plus four and a plus two, and that's all I got written down for okay. healing potions. Okay, we'll go with that. So a plus two, a plus four. And, and I just used my D6, so that's it. Okay. So I'm down to two healing potions. Okay. Six body points, two healing potions. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. We'll say he's got six back then. Fair. He's alive. Yeah, because the mysterious flower restores a mind point. It's not really a healing potion in that sense. Okay. <clears throat> well, and then my familiar are going to stay where they're at. So heroes. The wizard. That's two. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is number six. He's the last one. Yep. Yeah, uh, so I can move. <laughs> yep. Okay, let me get your sixth one out here. All right, the masterpiece collection is complete. Five. Go me toward the huge fight, please. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And follow with the uh, the bodyguard. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, you put me two squares to the left. Five. Let's see. Okay. All right, I'm going to shoot at the uh, archer with my crossbow. All right, return fire. <laughs> ah, nameless. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Excellent. Right, I don't so. know what the result of my crossbow shot is. For some reason, I couldn't see what it was. Try it again. Nameless says, microphone is shot, so I thought I'd help the forces of chaos. Well, <laughs> I don't. I have no objections to that. We have played with people who don't have microphones working. In fact, I think it was Jacer. He would just like type out his commands, but it is a lot slower to do it that way. So yeah, Jacer, I just say try your roll again. I don't see it at all. And he rage quit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's back. He's back! Yeah, try your roll again. It's probably just a glitch. So he's firing... Ribby. Yeah, I, for some reason, everything I type is in light gray, so I don't know if it's not sending oh, uh, or what connection going on. connection issue. But see, I can hear you perfectly. It's weird. Yeah, I I can hear. It's just I gotta keep refreshing to even see the map update, so I'm not getting a good signal. 
Oh, I think not. it's me. Darn. Well, I tried going out. Um, let me try closing Discord and reopening it. I mean, we could roll for you if it's. Reloading this crossbow. Well, yeah, if Ribby, if you want to join us, we've got openings for heroes, of course. All right, Jace, any uh, any luck? I'm trying. Uh, it finally oh, just tight. gave me three failed to send message hold for options. We're suddenly going to get like there it a is. flurry of... Okay. All right. <laughs> Ribby, Ribby was uh, retuning your roll to make sure it was... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you fired at the at the uh, archer, and he defends with three, I believe. Ching, and a hit. One got through. He's been uh, firing at your position over and over, and you're finally just like, <laughs> you want some of this? <laughs> Twang. All right, and I'll take one step south. Okay. Really throw him off his game. Oh yeah. Um, the arbalist, uh, four spaces to the left and north. To that, yeah, right to the cross. All right. Um, the monk will open fire. Open fire. For his namesake, yeah. Wow. All uh, right, four shields. Wrestling move. Uh, all right, I'm definitely climbing up. I'm gonna like monkey ball her down the uh, the corridor there and kick him right in the head. I won't even see it coming. <laughs> Whammo. Ugh. Definitely did not see that coming. Okay. Uh, and that's it for the monk. I'm gonna, or no, you know what? The monk's gonna move uh, step one step closer. Closer. No roll required for one. All right, and that'll end my turn. Although the dice do look up pretty awesome. Okay, Barbarian. Ah, three skulls. Might have gotten him. Let's see. Famir defends. And two hits. Two got through. Cleft him in twain. <sighs> Sounded like a potion being uncorked. And it is! Bonus potion for hero. Thanks, Vorticon. Potion of strength. Who do you want to uh, get the potion? Or is it up for anyone? If you don't say anything, I'll just take it as it goes to anyone. So who wants the potion? Who gets the potion of strength? Remember, mercenaries can get it too. It's not just heroes. Uh, let's say oh, the monk or the dwarf. I thought that was the sound of Ribby entering the game. <laughs> oh man. You hear a glass of bourbon being poured. Like, well, yeah. Ribby. What's good? Ah, uh, not me. These guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So we've got the. Sorry, the potion of strength goes to the dwarf. Is that right? Yes. All 
right, so Ribby, um, if you want to jump in, you guys want to give him a give him a character. Yeah, whatever is available. <laughs> Yeah, take a throw of uh, the Rubinator. So the Barbarian. The Barbinator? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. The Bourbonator. Uh, the Bourbonator. What a great name. Come from a fine vintage. <laughs> All right. Okay. So Ribby takes control of the Barbarian. Do you need a uh, refresher on what he's got? I think I, I got the most. The backstory is that he comes from a small holler in Bourbon County. There it is. Fellow, uh, like, 15 swords. Pretty much, yeah. Longbow, crossbow, mace, helmet, bracers, chainmail, armor, scales of Elithorn. Well, actually, he has seven swords, but... Oh, okay. Not enough. Eight. Eight swords, excuse me. I, I gotta build a throne out of those. Actually, uh, chainmail, scales of El Elithorn, dawn shield, regular shield, buckler... Maybe just a refresher on potions. Phoenix Ash. Not to be confused with Amalgam Ash. Uh, let's see. Potion-wise, he's got Superior Restoration. Yep. Three potions of Frost Skin. Battle Frost Rage. Skin. Was Battle Rage used up? I think so. I took it off my sheet the last time I was here. Yeah, but... yeah, okay. Airwalk, defense is used up. Uh, yep. Fire resistance, mm -hmm. battle. So the regular potion of battle, he got that recently. Frost skin. Oh, he has four frost skin. Excuse me. Oh. Yes, he does. Okay. He's been using them to keep his his beverages cold, and it's like no, no. Okay, yeah. icy strength. Yep. He's got the elixir. The the one body point for five turns and he has got the phoenix ash as i mentioned phoenix ash yeah i guess i've never heard of that one. Ah, oh, you've never heard of the phoenix ash well well i'm sure i've read it at some point and forgot it uh he has read of it yeah yeah it'll bring you back to life and there's a chance it'll be destroyed if you uh, after you use it and you can also use it to create an elixir of life or oh, a geez. bunch of healing potions the last remnants of the legendary phoenix Exactly. Wow. So it, it's kind of like the Talisman of Lore in the Japanese edition, except, yeah, there's a chance that it will be lost. Okay. And it could be crafted into other things. Cool. Yep. Do I have any skill cards? Yes, you do. You have uh, Parry and Repost and also Roundhouse. Okay. Thanks, Wardicon. Yep. I was just getting to that, Hatu. <laughs> wait, 140 gold still? Is that right? Yep. Okay. 140 proof? What? No. Oh, boy. <laughs> Point me in that direction. Holy shit. Um, and then, yeah, four body points. Okay. I think I'm good. Couldn't resist. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Clever. Yes. This guy. Okay, anyway, uh, Ruminator. So, whose turn is it actually? Yeah. Okay, so we had the wizard. And the dwarf took his turn, and then I, I totally lost track. I I just killed the... Uh, yeah, uh, the Ruminator yeah. just ended up killing the Famir. Yep, yeah. So, the first, first act was played by a different actor. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, now, well, and I lost the... Um, uh, mercenary too i think on the last session so yeah, so yeah. okay so are right, is it my turn now yeah yeah oh boy okay well i've been picking on uh, jacer a lot so i will continue to do that all right I'll attack him the elite chaos warrior Two skulls. Wow. All Five. the shields. He rolled all the shields. <laughs> Five. That's almost two wrestling oh moves. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go with... Um... Oh, 
Oh, let me go with like the the sharpshooter. He steps closer and then bang, get him, uh, get him in the sharpshooter. Uh, <laughs> he's tapping. Where's the ref? Where's the ref? Somebody ring that bell. Somebody stop this. All right, he's out. Got him. Ding 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 ding. I'm still in range of that stupid mummy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, I did take a step back, too. Yep. Let's see. I still have line of sight. Hmm. Is he that good, though? Ah, dang it. Okay. I'm going to roll to see if he can actually hit him from there. Skull would be success. Okay, you can hit him. One skull. Ching. No damage. Okay, mummy's in range. One, two, three, four. Or I could. Okay, we'll do. We'll do that. Okay, elite mummy attacks. The monk. Two skulls. Two damage. Down to four on the monk. I got another chaos warrior. One, two, three, four, five. I think this time we'll go against the barbarian. One, two, three, four, five. The elite chaos warrior unleashes the attack. Whoops, hit the button twice. Darn it. Okay, we'll go with the second one. One skull. <laughs> Never done that before. Yeah. Deflected. Maybe he had a potion of battle as well and he accidentally drank it. <laughs> okay, and the Femir remain in their usual places. Alright, heroes. These are... All right, guys, I got the stuff. Yeah. Oh, move on. Uh, seven. Okay, what direction? Just put me uh, behind the uh, the dwarf, and I press. Uh, an ampule full of monarium. Ah. Okay. So the dwarf now has some of the monarium. The mercenary uh, will follow. Just stay uh, behind the, uh, the wizard. And they pass. A good bodyguard should. Okay. The Mighty Dwarf. Now, if I could shoot you from there, surely you could shoot me from there as well. But it's your call.
What do you think, Jacer? Uh, with a six, I'm just going to move right next to him and attack him with the long sword. So, so I'll move three. Let me go five spaces and go to the left of the archer. I missed. He missed. Lost. As he was passing by, he accidentally glanced in the mirror and saw something scary, and it threw off his aim. Okay. All right. Uh, Arbalest will move uh, six spaces up uh, north and then to the right. North and then east. Six. Six. Okay. Hold on a second here. As he was going around the corner. I play this card. Ambush. As you're walking, a monster stalks you and attacks. So this is the one monster from this quest. It is an assassin. So assassin appears and attacks you. And this uh, this monster is freshly empowered, so actually roll six dice. I think I was forgetting to add those. So four skulls. Activate his trap card in attack mode. Three hits. I believe he has a healing potion. Otherwise, uh, that was a plus two. So you're going to bring him back? I think he already used it. He already used his plus oh. two, I think. Oh, so he's actually gone. Yeah. He's gone. No. He was assassinated. The assassin. <clears throat> yep. He never got to fight the Femir. Nope. Oh, well. They killed the scout, so he never got revenge. Nope. One mercenary remains. Okay, so that was your turn, Jacer. Um, oh, for that character. Now you got the monk. The mark for the history books. That's right, Wardicon. I'll, I'll use the air technique on the the mummy, even though I know I can't get anybody else. All right. And skull. Okay, he is an elite. So he responds. Ching, no damage. 
But now fire is unlocked. Okay, Ribbonator. Uh, we're going to swing at the uh, big man with the great sword. Ah, if it rolls, Where? It's the there it goes. <laughs> okay, one skull. All right, <laughs> two points defense. Mine goes Ooh. Oh, yeah. No yeah, I think that server just occasionally like blips out a little bit. Yeah. I like having both forms of the dice, the 3D and then the, the 2D. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Anything else you're going to do? Um. Nope. I'll stay put. All right. My turn. All right. Power surges from the mirror. A fresh dose of uh, evil radiation <laughs> settles on the monsters. Okay, so the Chaos Warrior now, uh, let's see, yeah, he's going to attack him, but he's going to remember to roll five dice this time. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> Three skulls. Yeah, that's the suspense. Oh, yes! man. <laughs> I use ultimate defense technique. Combo breaker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's uh, what's his move gonna be? Oh, um, we're gonna give him a perfect plex. All right. Get in there. Hook the leg in. <sighs> Get the arm. Oh, <sighs> he's struggling. Three. <laughs> ding ding ding! It's over. Get him out of there. All right. Got him. Stretch him out. Well done. Okay. Well, darn. <laughs> uh, okay. This mummy is just like, <sighs> he's ready. He realizes he's made of extremely flammable materials, <laughs> but he's going to try to take this monk down. Okay. So it'll be four. Three skulls. Two hits. Fiddling him down. Let's see. One, two, three. He's going to die tired. Four. One, two, three, four. I was thinking, like, it's too bad the, the fire is, doesn't do, like, friendly fire damage. Then I could just, like, purposely get in front. <laughs> so, take the shot. Take the shot. I'll hit you. No, just take it. Take the shot. Okay. This uh, archer is in bad shape. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. To shoot at the dwarf with five. Two skulls. Send that over to Brother Love. I love you. <laughs> oh, man. What a time to be alive. Brother Barbarian. Okay, three skulls. Or no, that was your response. Two skulls, and you rolled two shields. Oh, perfect. Good job. Yep. I'm thinking about Brother Love and his bright red face. Where are the Mayans? Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, Paul Bearer and all those characters. Yep. 
Okay, those Femir, I think are just gonna stay put. Uh, let's see, other cards, let's see. Da, 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 five, okay, I gotta subtract one that I used. Okay, hero's turn. Of the secret door behind the uh, the monk. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Okay, you've actually got nine, so I mean, is that as far as you wanted to go? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did, the, did I roll a nine? Eight? Five? Or no, eight. Eight. Uh, nah, I'm getting eight. tired. It's eight. That's You're right. <laughs> um, I don't know if I looked inside this room before. Uh, so can we check with the uh, potion of vision if I'm seeing something? Ah, good, good call. Okay, uh, you do not see any traps, nor do you see any secret doors in this room. Okay. TC Striker. Uh, move one square to the right. Uh, no, and um, and yes, no, no, he's not going anywhere. He stay there. Well, stay here. Or stay yeah, there. stay there in case. No, no, he moved one square to the right, but the move further. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. All right, the dwarf. I'm going to shoot at the archer. Okay. One. Ding! No damage. Showdown, is it? Okay. Monk. He's got fire in his eyes. And he can see monsters, so... Barely. All right, that was the wrong, uh, wrong dice. No, oh, what were you trying to do? <laughs> I was trying to move. Oh yeah, you move. Yeah. Uh, you move two white shields. <laughs> All right, seven. Seven. There we go. Wanted to know the mummy has one body point left and the archer has two. And the assassin is completely undamaged with two. Alright, the monk is gonna run up to the left of the barbarian. 
and spirit beam that assassin. Dusty. Dusty. He's like it. cha. <laughs> <laughs> Name has become a killing word. Usul yeah. no longer needs the weirding module. All right, uh, the arbalist has been avenged. <laughs> Oh man, I wish I had the, uh, where did I put all those? I, I packed them up for Gen Con and now I don't have them with me. Let's see. Oh, thank you. All right, let's just say, uh, let's just say this time it's some rare blue flame. So, Got him. It's like in Street Fighter where sometimes you throw like a red fireball and you're like, whoa, what's that? Okay. Excellent. Oh, are you done, Chaser? Sorry. Yeah, that was uh, my move and my action. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to move... Hmm. Who's more dangerous? That's you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I am the danger. Um, so I'm going to move one, two, three... Or five. I guess move me north of the mummy. I'm going to cut his head off. You will try. Okay, two skulls. Ooh, got him. The bounce was that like a Street Fighter Two? <laughs> you win. Perfect. But as he lands, you see a little uh, you see a little uh, device in his hand, and you oh, hear no. like, silent laughter going off. Explosive enemy. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh man uh, let's see okay so monster explodes over all adjacent squares one combat die for each of the monster's body points so you get hit with two combat dice attack right. do I defend it or is it undefendable you get to defend okay and since the dread moon is going we're going to say it's three he's extra explodey <laughs> okay one skull Okay. Good, good enough. Well to, well to deflect it. A little thinged. Yep. Boom. <laughs> good old Rob Schneider. Always has the quote. <laughs> oh, combat dice color change. Whoops. Were we supposed to... Uh... Yeah, screen combat dice. Was that supposed to be for your roll there? Well, I mean, you you were fine. Let's see, roll color. Orange for next. Oh, that's for me, right? Well, what do you know? It's like, rigged, rigged. Okay. So it's my turn. Yeah, it'd be great to shoot some. Uh, the worst time. The worst time. Nameless. Yes. No! What have you done? Thank you, my minion. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, uh, okay, I gotta subtract the Zargon card that I used. There we go. Yeah, let's let's shoot Ribby with it. Okay. Five orange. Orange crush. Oh wow, that's some serious luck there on my part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that could have been a lot worse. If I was a hero, that'd be great. But two skulls. There we go. Ching! No damage. Wow. Okay. You kind of run out of here. One, two, three, four, five. I almost forget how many of the archers have. They move six. Six. 
this point. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna run out of the room there. The Femir are gonna stay put. So, back to the heroes. Wizard first. Uh, enter one step beside and uh, search for treasures. Okay. Ah, another mysterious flower has been found. Great. The striker moved three squares north and attacked the, the elf. Not you, Glasgow. The uh, the enemy elf. <laughs> Bonus yeah. stage. We get to destroy a donkey cart. <laughs> then, like a goblin comes Let's out call. and goes, "Oh, my cart!" <laughs> right. And a wrestling move. Yep. Okay. Yeah, let's see if I get anything. Ching! But he gets hit by the wrestling move. What's it going to be, Striker? Big card. All right. Bear hug! So you grab him, it's like, ah! <laughs> He'd been eating, like, you know, nothing but onion sandwiches and garlic this whole time. So he's, like, <sighs> breathing his face. He's, like, oh. oh. Yeah, okay, so. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, but he's still he's still alive. The ref broke the hold. It's like, nope, nope, got to release it. Okay, next. Mighty Dwarf. Dwarf. Yeah, you can go. I can. Go. Uh, I'll go just north of the striker and I'll attack the archer with the longsword. No sweet chin music? Oh, maybe next time. Three skulls. Oh, that looks like a good hit there. Ching to it. Got him. All right. Uh, the monk nine. Uh, and is all of his abilities reset? Oh yes, he sees no monsters, so he's fully restocked. Uh, let me move nine up that corridor. This way to the north. Yes. Shivers as he enters the dark. He's brave. All right, is he continuing to go? Yes. All right, if I counted that correctly. Yes, I'm going to use the air technique to attack diagonally. All right. Boom. It's like he sees the shadow and he busts out his move. Targeting the dark figure of the Femir. Two skulls. Ching! And got him. The other one gets through. Bam! He blocked one, but then the other went out and got him. 
All right. And then um, that's it for me. I'll pass it to Barbarian. Sweet. Um, are there no enemies left? There's one Femir left. The one north up there? Oh, yeah. I guess we'll head that way. Really? All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I can only move one. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's it. Has this room been searched? Treasure traps? By the barbarian? I, I don't recall. I don't know if you search for treasure. I know it's been searched for secret doors and traps. I'll leave that to Zargon. You can search if you want. I don't... To. Treasure? I'll search for treasure. Alright. Wandering monster. Of course. <laughs> Stalks and attacks. All right. Let's just say somebody. The mirror glows, and he just like leaps out ah, with a dagger. Oh no! Oh, no. oh why did I do elite? He's not an elite. Excuse me. That would have been great, though. Well. Oh I'm, wow. I'm. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Uh, same you. thing, basically. Uh, okay. Defend! Oh. oh, three hits. But he's so big. No. Okay, your turn is over. Now my turn. All right. The assassin like has lost the element of surprise, but it's still powerful. Still is empowered by the by the dread moon. That radiation emanating through the, the mirror. Three skulls. Ah, covert nerd is here. <laughs> and he's we we know what side he is on. Okay. Thanks for the potion. Potion of Alchemy. Well, that won't help you much here, but somebody gets a Potion of Alchemy for some extra gold. Who wants the Alchemy? Well, I got uh, the collection of uh, daggers, so... Ah, the Alchemist gets the Alchemy. Excellent, okay. You can always try again. <laughs> okay, um, all right. If I died, I will uh, Ooh, drink up. the uh, superior restoration. Okay. Uh... Okay, so you get fully restored. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now I forget in this one, does he go up to 10? Just go up to eight. Yeah, this one's eight. Yeah, it doesn't have the amulet of the north. Okay. So is there a document for all the extra rules you seem to be using? Hey, Jester Mar Nario. Uh, I've described it on my, on my YouTube channel, what I do. As far as, like, a document that you can download, uh, no, there's no such document. But yeah, I'm using the, <clears throat> excuse me, the so-called power dice. I'm using um, my own upgrade system for how many um, quests they've survived. I use the, the combat cards. I use an evil wizard deck. Um, what other homebrew stuff? Yeah, elite monsters. There's always a chance of those. <laughs> He's doing it live. Can't do it. Yeah. And then uh, usually I'll have extra chances for like the wizard to get potions at the alchemist bench, sometimes the elf as well. 
or restore stuff from the sorcerer's table, like restore a spell. There I think you do have some of them on your maybe the loading screen or the start screen. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah some that's, true. that's true. Yeah, the, the rules that we use with the stream, like you can buy potions for heroes, you can buy monsters for Zargon, you can buy cards, combat cards for each of us, because there's also chaos cards for Zargon. Um, usually, with when there's a weapons rack and there's no note, I'll let people draw one of the equipment cards. But yeah, you can see what options you have in the stream by clicking in the Twitch chat, like where it says send a message right below that, you'll see that orange and purple symbol for the treasure. If you click on that, it'll show you the rewards. And those are the things that you can do on the stream with your gold coins. Thanks, Vorticon. Just got another potion here. All right, there's a potion of feeling for the heroes. That's probably what uh, Lee was trying to get for the Covert Nerd podcast, helping out the heroes. So it, it gets done. Job gets done. I'm doing a, a YouTube wiki <laughs> trip. Ah, helping the bad guys. Thank you. Okay, so who gets the potion of healing? Who needs it? Uh, either the dwarf. barbarian or the dwarf. All right, you guys are talking at once. Which which one? Uh, uh, well, maybe the, the uh, <laughs> this one to the uh, to the dwarf. So I can give something. Uh, I, got, I got stuff to give to the barbarian. So okay, so one d six to the dwarf. Easier. Yeah. Okay, so the dwarf gets another healing potion. Full time DM, a fellow Zargon player. You know, I have to help out my fellow villains. <laughs> well, thank you. That was a really good card, too. All right. Okay, whose turn is it? I did my, my attack. Oh, yeah, I still got another monster to use. Mr. Famir. Thought he looked famil familiar. Familiar. Okay. All right. He's like one, two, three. Try to stop you. All right. His single eye is glowing with the power of the dread moon. He's been waiting for this for a while. Ah, oh, but he missed. He missed. How could he miss? It's shocking, isn't it? Okay, with that, it's the hero's turn. Heroes, breaking and entering, murdering orcs and goblins, minding their own business. Murderers, elf friends. Yeah. So. Well, technically in this quest, the, uh, the elven... Uh, um, traitors did uh, did break into the temple they did threaten the queen they did destroy all kinds of stuff so i don't think they're that innocent <laughs> experimenting with technologies that uh incredibly dangerous summoning entities from other dimensions without a license step out of the room okay and move to square to the left two squares okay the striker. I mean, I and Zargon would definitely uh, want control of the Elven Realm. That would certainly help my bid for ultimate power. So, I mean, I'm on, I'm on your side. I'm just saying. When I didn't help him. <laughs> okay, sorry. What, what was the striker going to do? Do some strike. Move adjacent to the uh, uh, to the assassin. Is it uh, is an assassin, right? Yes. And attack. Which side? Yeah, south is fine. Okay. Shadow Moon rised. The translators took off the rising part. Oh, Eudoxio, hey, welcome. So it's just the Dread Moon. Two. The Terror Moon. Okay. All right, so I defend with three. Kind of like the Ogre Horde. It's not against the Ogre Horde, it's just the Ogre Horde. It's like, okay, I guess I'm playing as the Ogres then. For the whore. For the horde. 
Oh man. Okay, so two hits. Down he goes. Maybe he was wearing the pirate's eye patch. Yeah, could have been. He thought it was dark, but he was just wearing the patch. Okay, nicely done. Dwarf. Still a Femir alive, so still rolling for movement. Four. Yeah, they like to cut off those good name parts for simplicity, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, move them four north. And um, go to the monk. I use the strength of mountain. Okay. All right. Busts out a mighty hand, throwing it at the Femir. How you typing? Is it giving you problems? No, I just uh oh, three. He's entering the Konami code, hoping for extra lives. Okay, three skulls, not bad. Cha Ching! One gets through. To hit. Staggering. All right. Um, I have a move uh, one space north and one space to the west. Okay. Do I see anything in that northern corridor? I see a lot of darkness. I think I had the, the wall in the wrong place uh, last time, but otherwise, yeah, you just see darkness. Okay. Okay. That'll end my turn then. Rubinator. All right. That mirror is glowing omin ominously, waiting. Mm -hmm. Of course, you yet have no way of transversing uh, that dimension. There we go. A good roll. Hey. Um, what are we exploring up north there? That's for the group to decide. Uh, there's one Femir up here and two dead ends that I can see so far. Hmm. And the south has not been explored either. The exit is in front of us. It's there in the room, the mirror. <laughs> but we can't go through it yet? Well, the wizard has all of the Lunarium. He's given some to the dwarf, but oh. each of the heroes needs their own instance of it to be able to pass through. And once yeah, they pass so the, through... The, the, once they pass so through... Am I waiting? Once they, yeah. pass, once they pass through... <laughs> does, the wizard has enough for everybody, or no? He does have enough for everyone. Okay, well, maybe I should just chill out in this room, then. Mm -hmm. Let's move, um... One, two, three, four to the left. And just stare at the mirror. Right. Look at myself. Alright. Your image is distorted by swirling colors and shapes of... That's okay. That's good enough for me. Things, yeah. I mean, you could still tell that you're, like, totally ripped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Perfect. No, Makes no his question. head look real big, too. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those funhouse mirrors, except it's, like, constantly <laughs> shifting around and moving. That'll be all I do. Yeah. A so, steering contest. <laughs> he's like, I can I can do this. <laughs> like, don't, don't do it. <laughs> his eyes are getting watery. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if Thrayan said earlier that... Uh, He's pretty sure that, yes, the, the Lunarium will take you through the mirror gates, but it's a one-way trip. 
So okay. Good luck. good luck. Okay. All right. My turn. My turn. Yeah. All right. The Femir is like, Rah! hisses at you. All right. Goes for an attack against the monk. Two skulls. Ching. And a hit. Twisting turn. All right. Unlock my fire. Ooh. Yep. He uh, he swings his axe and it like it appears to hit you, but then it's just like instead of blood, just like water comes out and it's like no damage. He's like, what? <laughs> and then he sees the fire start to build up and it's like you see fear in his eye. <laughs> He's like, uh oh. Okay. Well. That's uh, that's all I'm gonna do. Wizard. I'll just give you guys the ten minute warning here. Yep. Move uh, in the, the direction of the uh, barbarian. And pass. Okay. Dwarf. All right. Uh, the dwarf's just going to move two spaces to the left. Make sure that Femir doesn't go anywhere. And that's going to end his turn. Going nowhere. Got you for three minutes. Three minutes of play time. All right. The monk is going to use his fire ability. Hey, freak show. <laughs> and, and the spirit bomb that uh, Famir. All right. <laughs> spirit bomb. He was building you got to charge up for like 10 rounds for that, though. He was charging up Come on. the whole time. I remember, like the last six episodes. We didn't even know it. Yeah. <laughs> just gathering energy from the whole universe. All right. So you just, argh, your fist goes right through him. <laughs> just, he's like, no. And you see the fire like spreading from the, from the, where his fist hit, like just, argh, and his eyes, the last thing that's consumed by fire. Yeah. What's that character's name? The Marvel character. Uh, Iron Fist? No. Yeah, Iron Fist. Iron Fist, okay. Is that what yeah, you're... Iron Fist. Bonesaw. Bonesaw is ready. <laughs> so great. I, I bought that movie recently and rewatched it. It's like, oh my still, gosh. Still holds up. Incredible. Man, there were some things about it I, I didn't like, but it's it's a, a little really cartoony at, at points but that's a, okay it's a fun it's a fun superhero movie back when superhero movies were still fun <laughs> yep. did they change or did we change yeah you know what i mean yeah <laughs> okay yeah it's like people put up with slop <laughs> it's for the rant cast for the rant cast yeah okay all right. All right, we'll pass to the Barbarian in his staring contest. All right. All right, you continue to see the mirror. It's waiting. <laughs> some more Dragon Ball Z references. Or Dragon Ball Super or Dragon Ball, whichever you. And there's some other one. And, and the guy passed away, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. History. A lot of childhoods. Memories. Okay. All right. So is Barbarian going to take any actions or move any at all? No, nope. I'm just waiting for that sweet, sweet Lunarium. All right. It's like, don't drink it. <laughs> Actually, why don't you just move me one, move me one east, so I'm next to him. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, he sees what uh, if I don't give any Lunarium and I just go... Then you continue alone. I guess so. With, with Dwarf. 
<laughs> you could, yeah, yeah. People are like, oh man, I I just can't play Hero Quest anymore. I got to go. Like, oh, okay, well, I guess only these heroes went through. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I I think I'll stay and I'll I'll help the effort. You know, here well, I'm needed. We, we find a bug in the system. We can create. We can go and do a, a solo quest. Ah, yes, 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 for sure. <laughs> it's like, but you know, there's uh, there's villagers. They're trying to rebuild. You know, they'll they'll need people on this side too. Of course, what good is it if the world ends, you know? <laughs> All right. All kinds of mayhem coming out of that uh, that mirror dimension. Those hidden realms. Like, <laughs> Goku goes 20x and it's fine. I think it was autonomous. Ultra Instinct! Yeah, it's like power above power. Okay. All right, uh, my turn. Looks like I'm drawing a card. The lure of chaos. Ah, yes. Your mercenary friend is being tempted by chaos. Okay, so that mercenary rolls one combat die on a black shield. He is mine. So, striker. Just roll one combat die, if you would, please. How sad would that be? He's like, you can take your chaos. <laughs> you can stick it where the sun don't shine. All right. Okay, that's it. That's it for me. Back to the wizard. Uh, give me. Donarium to the Barbarian. Yeah. And point to the mirror. <laughs> he's, he's already to drink it down. You're like, no, no, no. You, you, you put it on yourself. one square it south and give one Donarium to the uh, Striker. Yeah. He's like, don't worry. Is it lotion? Is it body lotion? Do I yep. slather it on myself? Yep. And, and don't forget uh, to give one to the uh, Elf. Oh, yeah. I make it spray for you. <laughs> spray, spray tan. You're, something you're familiar with. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, so those those three characters and the and the elf are all equipped with lunarium, sufficient to travel through the mirror gates. Assuming uh, Athrain gave you the right information. I mean, he seems like he's been trustworthy thus far. So, all right. Okay. Uh, the dwarf. Uh, uh unthreatened movement because there's no more monsters so just put me to the left of the barbarian if i've got enough spaces twelve okay all right the monk his techniques reset i'm going to use the the uh speak with stone all right and just check for traps and secret doors while i'm up there all right Using his uh, highly trained skills, which he has learned from traveling all about the old world, the different locations, he comes uh, across a secret door, unfound until this moment. Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> Let me use the four spaces to go and see what's in the door. Oh man! Four okay. spaces to the left. Just when you thought. You Open the door. Finish the quest. <laughs> okay. They pull me back in. They pull me back. In. I know. I thought so too. I even moved the dwarf towards the. Other. I'm like, yeah, there's probably nothing up here. It's it's the video game mentality. You can never. It's like, oh man, it's so tempting. It's like, no, no, we gotta stay the course. Stay the course. Ah, oh, let's do some more exploring. Okay. Yes, so you open the door and you find a familiar sight. It is a hideout. Oh. 
prepared for for you by the cadre of the Ravens Vale for friends of the cause in times of need. All right, then uh, I take uh, one step into the hideout. All right. All right, and then uh, I can heal, right? Yep. You can roll one red die to uh, heal yourself up with the supplies inside. You notice there's an alchemist bench. There's a possibility of a treasure search in there for somebody who has an action. Okay, so you get one. You can add that to your body points. Yes, please. Okay, it's back up to three. All right, now pass the barbarian. Ah, bonus treasure search and a bonus potion. Very nice. Uh. All right, magic resistance Ooh. against all. Who wants, Wait. who wants that? The dwarf. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, the draw, the dwarf or the barbarian, they're the more susceptible to to that. Let's see. Does barbarian already have some? Hmm. He has fire resistance. He doesn't have anything else. You want to give it to the barbarian instead? Dwarf has damage. Magic resistance against damage. He's okay. The, the barbarian got also the, uh, the scale of Elethorn, I think. I think. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Yes, I do. Okay, so it goes to the dwarf. Alright, sounds yep. good. Sounds good. He tucks it in his beard. <laughs> For later. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just braids it in there, you know? Yep, yep, it works. It works. Okay. Uh, barbarian. Um, should I go through the mirror? Or go through the hideout? Nah, we'll go through the mirror. Screw it. If I got movement. Yeah, I got movement. You've got enough. Six. Because I don't think there's going to be any shopping. I think you're gonna yeah, have to that, that's okay. We'll we'll continue on. The quest must continue. All right. Six. All right. One. But as you approach the mirror, unfortunately, uh, an, an evil glow emits from it, and one last oh foe appears. <laughs> okay. A strangely familiar foe. Whoa. It is. I I've seen that guy. I've seen one of those. His name is Virag. <laughs> ah, fool! The spirit of the spirit of Virag is back. I'm back, and this time you've dug your own graves. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> he appears That's to funny. glow with a spectral light. Um, it looks like he's uh, he's a gargoyle, but he's got spectral powers. This is I've never seen that character before. That's uh... hmm. strangely huh. interesting. Yeah. Okay, uh, then I'll go. One north and west. Okay. With my movement. We'll uh, try to bastard sword him, I guess. Or a great sword, rather. Okay. Now Actually, hmm. I'm trying to think shield. of something that has. I have to, yeah, black shield. Oh, I guess there's no difference. Magic, unless you have something that's magical. Oh, yeah. Uh. Not really. They're all just regular swords. Hmm. I was trying to find like a die that has more than one black shield on it, but white and black don't. You've got a potion of battle for a reroll. Hmm. You've got icy strike. So that's gonna just boost the damage. Right. Well, let's just try a regular attack with the great sword. Okay. I I believe in me. All right. All black shields. Go. Oh, there's one. There's one, okay. Nope. 
No! Blocking black shields with black shields. ka <laughs> <laughs> it, make, it doesn't make any sense! I remember you. <laughs> Thanks, Eudoxio. Uh, that's it for me. Okay. Alright, my turn. Alright, he's like, I'm the guardian of the mirror. You're not getting through until you get through me. And he attacks the dwarf. Two skulls. I know we're a little past our time, but I'm good for it. Okay. Ching! No damage. What? What is this? <laughs> ah! <laughs> He's really angry. Okay, hero's turn. Wizard. The wizard has plenty of magical things. Mm, two. Okay. He moves, uh, yes, two squares, one square to the left, one square mm, south. And cast Genie. All right. Ooh. Not the Genie. Bam! <laughs> no! Kazam! <laughs> All right. He's like, oh. man. Okay. Veragus. You see a little I'm bit unimpressed. of fear on his, his, his face. But he, but he's just like, no. <laughs> Wait, genies are magical, aren't they? Oh no! <laughs> it's gonna I was gonna say the genie's probably how he died in the first quest, because that's most of the time how he dies you. in uh, the trial. Nah! <laughs> <laughs> so Shaq just takes him to task, just like pummeling him. <laughs> he's just completely uh, battered down, and he's like, no. He's like, goes out. <laughs> not again! Not no, again! No, no, no. <laughs> he gets sucked through the... Through the vortex. All right. Looks like That's the a... last... Last obstacle. That's a 3% chance on five dice to get five skills. <laughs> awesome. Well, what a perfect yeah. way to end it. Um, yeah. It's up to you now. <laughs> so the wizard did what he did. All right, the dwarf goes through the doorway, or through the mirror. All right, he stops for a second, and he puts his hand through. You see the camera. You see his hand reaching through the other side, and he kind of looks at his, you know, hand is like, like, like the Stargate. Yeah, nods his head. It's like, all right, <laughs> and he goes through, and it's like, whoosh. you see the, you know, you know, the the vortex is going through. Okay, he's going through the other side. All right, the uh, monk will do a uh, treasure search in the hideout. Okay. All right. The safe search. Now, there is a bonus search as well. So, it's just, just the regular? Uh, yeah. Because that's safe, too, in the hideout. Yeah. Okay. Unidentified ingredient. Mysterious ingredient. Okay. That'd be a random draw on the alchemy deck. You want to do another one? Uh, yeah, let me do the bonus search. Okay. Potion of Speed. So Potion of Speed, an unidentified ingredient for the monk. Okay, and for his movement, <laughs> I'm gonna drink the potion of speed. <laughs> Perfect. That way, I have 24 spaces. 
Sounds good. And I move and I move to that mirror. We call him a man. Oh no, man. wait, I uh I move to next to the alchemist. I don't I don't have the uh linarium yet. Oh yes. <laughs> he bounces off the mirror. <laughs> He just he <laughs> staggers back towards the, the wizard like, hey, seems I am in need of something, my friend. <laughs> and I pass, I pass the um, un, unidentified ingredient to the uh, alchemist as well. All right. There's the handoff. All right. All right, now that'll end the uh, the monk's turn. Okay. Okay. All right, barbarian. Oh, I didn't go through the. Eh, I didn't go through there. Oh, that's right. You uh, sprung that monster on us. Okay. <laughs> And so our hero, right. having re-re-disposed re, re of the monster, exits <laughs> stage left. Yes. Heavens to Murgatroyd. All right. All right. He approaches the mirror, and he just hops right in. Dalio! <laughs> or Geronimo! Or <laughs> whatever they yell in that universe. Okay. All right. He goes through the vortex. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> All those, you know... Uh, tunnels through space. Okay. All right, my turn. Hopefully, I draw like the before, worst. Card. Before that, can we move the elf through the through the mirror? Sure. Let's just give him. Give. Well, he can move twelve. Three, four. Hello, friends. He says, and then he winks, and then he goes through. Okay, the elf is through. Yeah, we'll assume that yeah everything was fine. So he ah, he goes through the thing too. Everybody has the same experience as they're you know, traveling through uh, the dimension. Okay, all right. Now I draw a card. Hopefully it's a log trap. Nope. Uh, an alarm goes off, alerting nearby monsters. Those monsters seem to be occupied other places. Um. Oh, a closed door. Let's see. Do I have any closed doors to open? Nope. Looks like you've gotten all the doors. Okay. All right. Hero's turn. Wizard. I give the uh, Lenarium to the uh, monk. All right. And move... In front of the mirror, uh, will not pass yet. Okay. And the uh, striker goes to my side. One, two, three, four, move. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go, Jacer. Get out of here. <laughs> well, the dwarf is through. All right. Yep. Yep. Uh, the monk. the monk will the monk will uh do the same. All right. He utters a silent prayer and leaps through. All right. He sees ah the vortex ah. <laughs> he's going through. <laughs> he may sound a little bit like Nicolas Cage as he's going through. Ah. <laughs> But, uh, yep, okay. He's through. All right. Jargon draws a card. Come on, Log Trap. I didn't stack the deck properly. Okay. Off screen, he could. <laughs> okay. Got a new card, but it's not, uh, not very useful. <laughs> okay. Heroes. Wizard. Well, the wizard pass through the mirror. All right. <laughs> All 
Ah. And the striker passed through the mirror. Ah. <laughs> he's like, he's hanging on to the wooden... the mirror like okay. Skeletor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I picture uh, the mercenary hanging onto the wizard's coattails as he's uh, they're both flying through the vortex. Like, ah. all right, the mirror, you know, undulates with power and wow, 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 and then it it goes dark and everything goes black. And on the other side, uh, well, I'll just I can give you the preview for next time. A taste of things to come. Okay, so uh, heroes do not restore body points or mind points in between. They're in the enter the realm of reflection. Now, doesn't say that you can't craft your alchemy stuff. So maybe as the wizard is flying through the vortex, he can be crafting stuff. There's no shopping. Um, but here is the preview of what's to come. Quest 10, Under the Dread Moon. And of course, we got a bot trying to ruin my moment here. Let's ban him real quick. Okay, Under the Dread Moon. You exit the mirror gates and find yourselves at the top of the arcane tower, surrounded by a swirling network of esoteric energies. Dread incantations have been etched into the stone floor, designed to funnel chaos magic into Elethorn from the realm of reflection. The foundation of the tower shudders as the barrier between the worlds strains against the onslaught of chaos magic. The queen is somewhere in this dark place, and the runes of Lortone inform me she is in grave danger. Time is running out to stop the ritual that threatens to destroy not only Elethorn, and its people, but all of reality. Oh, wow. <laughs> so the stakes have never been higher. And the creatures in this quest are once again empowered with the, the evil of the Dread Moon. So it's going to be it's going to be a big fight, I think. So that's what awaits you uh, next week. I throw a hand axe at the moon. <laughs> you throw it, but your throw is not, uh, not far enough. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. He's strong, but not that strong. Not that strong. Yep. All right. Good game, guys. Thanks for playing. Yeah. yeah. So Quest 10 will be the next time we play this uh, this game. And just remember, you got to survive on what you got. All right. Anybody got anything to plug here at the end? Oh, I'm just glad most of the heroes are at almost full strength. <laughs> yep. All right, and uh, yeah, so I I definitely want to draw your attention to Bourbon and Board Games on YouTube. You, Heyo, you've been getting some uh, some good quality views from getting, getting awesome some love, coverage, yeah, awesome coverage of Gen Con. And uh, did you post your Space Crusade unboxing yet, or is that in the works? No, I didn't. It's filmed, not spoiler. not posted yet. Oh, he may yep, or may spoiler not be alert. before filming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited to see what. Uh, what oh, what, what's in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, it's decent. I mean, there's a few broken pieces and stuff, but it's not too bad. But you've got a 3D printer. I do. I can I can fix things up. I can you rebuild have the technology. it. Technology. <laughs> you can rebuild it. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see what you come up with. That'll be great. All right. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's see if there's anybody we can raid. And... We'll be out next week. Uh, having some friends coming up from Texas and some other places, and we're going tubing, lazy, lazy river tubing. So, okay. uh, having some friends. We will. We will be them. not uh, able to game. Let's say. All right. Well, have uh, <laughs> have some safe, uh, good, clean fun out there. Oh yeah. Sounds sounds cool. Okay, so we've got oh, Bengus is playing 